Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a haul video with some recent orders I've picked up. Um, so to start off, I'm going to start off with the Prairie Planner. Um, so Stacy has recently started a new like collection, I guess you might call it, called the Prairie Palette. Um, so basically every Wednesday she releases a new um, colorway and there's four different sheets of icons that you can pick up in that colorway. Um, each sheet is two dollars and you can pick up the whole bundle so four sheets for six dollars which is an amazing steal um, but kind of like the caveat is the colors only last till Monday so you really have only from Wednesday until the following Monday to pick it up before she releases a new color for the following week. Um, so if you like to color code, which is something I've started to get into, it's like a great way to pick up colors to color code. It's also great like if you're a newbie into planning to like get a mix of different icons. And so I have actually two of the colors picked up. Um, I like I don't think it's realistic for me and like I imagine for most of you to like pick up every color each week but I figured there's some basic colors that I would like to stash up on just because as I said I'm starting to really get into uh, building into color coding my spreads. Um, so first up with your order you'll get a loyalty card so you can collect the hearts off freebies and pick up your own mini kit. There's a lot of like amazing <laughs> ways to like I don't know just like get extras in the store like they have the loyalty cards um there's also the rewards on the website so when you like buy you get the points and then you can use it for like you can get like a code to then like get some money off your order plus there's also pr samplers as well um so if you didn't know already and this is the first time watching i do pr for the prairie planner um so you can use code ashley 20 to get 20 percent off your order as well as a sampler this is mine for January, February, but as you're watching this, it is well into March and I will have a different sampler. This is one of the other samplers I picked up for the, um, one of the other PR girls, um, for this order. And with each order, you also get a freebie for that month. So I have this January freebie order here. Um, and what's great with like the PR codes is you can actually use them on top of this. Um, so because this bundle is like $6, you actually get like 20% off, I think, and I'm so bad at math. I think it makes it like 480 I think. I might be wrong, but, and like this is Canadian too, so like, if you're American, like, it's, it's literally a steal. Um, and so the first colorway of this week was this like nice bright I guess you would call it it's not really that bright it's like a nice in between it's like my perfect type of colors like I don't like way too bright and I don't like way too soft and so for me like this is the most versatile um for pinks and so you get quite a bit of icons here um the first sheet is kind of like I guess like hobby stuff you might call it and activities like you have things like planner related things um laptop mail happy mail uh yeah i guess some education um coloring so yeah i consider this like mostly hobby related and then this is kind of like life related like so we have like beauty up here and then we have like games and like fun things down here and then we have food and fitness and then lastly, it's kind of like home things. Um, so you have like chores, home renovations, and like other life duties, if that makes sense. Um, but with my order, just because like shipping can cost a lot, I decided to also pick up some custom scripts because I was running a bit low on things. Um, that's with this order. And I've already started using them, so I'm glad I'm getting this video out of the way so that I can fully use them. Um, so I got some Prairie Palette scripts, so I like marking when there's like certain events that um, happen with the um, the Prairie Planner, so I picked up Prairie, Planner, Prairie Palette scripts so I can mark that on Wednesdays. I think it's a great option. What if you're just like a fan of a shop and want to like mark 
like events that happen consistently as well as like if you're a PR person too it's great to like keep track of like the events happening rather than just like oh I made a PR post you can also then use it like in your materials um, I got some headache stickers just because I ran out and I have chronic headaches and migraines so I like to track when those happen um, it also tends to like impact the rest of my day and what I plan like usually that means like nothing else happens or very minimal things happen so it's good to like keep track of that um, next up I got writing groups so I've joined actually two writing groups this semester help keep me accountable to my QE if you didn't know I'm a PhD student working through the qualifying exam process and so um, I need to pick up more stickers for this I also just got like smaller I don't want to say small but like shorter scripts like I wanted short words for like film and shop just because like I know the stickers tend to be wide for me so I knew these would fill um fill up better so I got filming stickers and shop stickers and last I got pay bill stickers because I'm all out of those and so that's my first order from the prairie planner now I have a second order from the prairie planner because I have no chill um I think I've just gotten to like I like placing smaller orders like because the shop is like local it's not local but like at least it's like Canadian like the shipping is decently priced for me and so for me I don't feel as bad placing smaller orders because I'm not paying a lot for shipping and so it's easier for me like finance wise and like just monitoring things to place these smaller orders um and then I don't know also it's like a PR person too like it's it's just more helpful um to place these smaller orders so I do have a second order here for the also with the palette too it's like you're gonna have to be able to place small orders because they don't fall at the same times and so we have the loyalty card here we have my freebie again and one of the other planner girl freebies and then we have the february freebie um which is a little different than january it has some plants which are adorable i love that we got this just because i don't have a lot of indoor plants and so because there's also like a plant functional sheet where you can get a large sheet of it and so I don't think I'd use it but I'm happy I have these small ones that I can use and so for color number three it was this gorgeous purple again like I think this is like very me and the colors I use like again not too bright like overwhelmingly bright but also not too soft and so again I picked up the bundle just because I feel like that's the best worth like essentially you're getting a sheet free um so even if i wanted like there's also like different themes for each sheet so like i couldn't really identify like i don't think there's necessarily one sheet i'm not going to use but even if not you still kind of get it free so may as well and then because i was placing order i just wanted to pick up some other things as well um, so I picked up some foil bundles for kits I'm planning to use in March. Um, so first up I have this Star and Moon kit, um, just to match one of the kits I plan to use. If you want, you can go check out the kit lineup video up on my channel. Um, I don't have it because I got this after I filmed it, so I don't have it in it, but I'm sure you can kind of guess the Celestial kit is the one I probably plan to use it for. And I got in this pink foil because I think it'll draw out the pinks. There's like set of hints of pink in that kit. And so we have our full boxes. We have this bottom washi and headers. I love these headers here. And I love how it's like alternating with like the smaller stars and moons with the like moon phases. And then we have this page here. I don't tend to like pull in foil icons and scripts. I just usually get it because again like this comes in a foil bundle and so like essentially the sheet is free but like because I get it now it's like getting me to try these things and I actually kind of like it <laughs> and then I also pick up two sheets of the foil underlays just because like I think they like add a bit extra to my spreads and I like being extra and next up we have the foil bundle for the birthday kit because March is also my birthday month and I picked it up in the hollow. Um, I so I picked up. It was my first time trying the hollow from the Prairie Planner. I think a couple like a month ago for one of my January kits. I absolutely loved how it turned out. Like it is very very extra. Like if you are looking for like a wow kit, this is it. Um, 
if you're looking for like a subtle huddle, probably not, probably not subtle, but I think it's gorgeous. And so because it's my birthday week, I wanted like that extra like pop. Um, plus the kit is like really dark. And so like, I feel like it'll just pop really well. And so with the bundle, you get the nine full boxes again. I like how it comes with like the one with the happy birthday because then I can like place that on the day. And then we have the bottom washi with the glitter headers and confetti and the uh, your icons and scripts. And then I also got the foil underlays. I love like how Stacy does her underlays because usually it's like a bigger element with a bunch of smaller elements. Like I think it balances it nice um because like sometimes I find like underlays can be all just small and then you can't like really see it or big which makes it pop but then when you like put stickers on you also can't see it so this is like I don't know it's a nice mix and I'm loving the design um next up I have this order from the sticker party so if you didn't know sticker party um Erica owns it she uh she designs all these like like she hand draws everything it's so I don't know it's so well done I love I love her um I love her work and she also runs the made in Canada uh planner collab sale but with the sticker party basically Erica runs something called TV Thursday and this will just happen like on a random Thursday like she does give you like a month or so like advance notice but it'll happen kind of occasionally there'll be maybe like once every quarter um, there'll be an event and basically she has like a thousand custom shows flags um, that she's designed and hand drawn and you can then you can also request ones in advance um, and then you can go and pick up the shows on that day and it's like a one day only thing um, but it makes sense because like there's like a thousand shows that she has to hand draw so it'd be so much to like have to stock all the time but it's like a really fun event to like have this every once in a while and so first off we have this little freebie here i love the little starbucks drink and like the little cupcake that'll actually be perfect for my birthday week and then i picked up some shows just that i haven't watched in a while or some new to me shows that I might watch again, so American Horror Story is one of them, as well as Santa Clarita Diet. Um, these are kind of shows we're currently watching as they go on, so that's why I just got one of each column. So I got The Orville, Yellow Jackets, and You. I also got Friends in That 70s Show because it's been a while. The same with Jane the Virgin and The Mindy Project. I also picked up Life in Pieces and Modern Family um, just because they're wholesome little shows and depending on my mood I might want to watch them. I also have Gilmore Girls and Parenthood because it's been a while and Charmed and Ghost Whisperer which I really have not seen since I was very young so I feel like that's something I want to give a go again. And so last up I have this order from Apple Blossom Prints. Um, so. I got a bunch of freebies which is really generous and the freebies all like coordinate to a color which is cool. Oh no, I guess not that one. Maybe, I don't know. I wonder if that was just extra or a mistake or something. Um, and so first off we have the February freebie here. And then we have the February $15 plus so they're tiered freebies. And then the $30 plus freebie, I love the movie nights, and then the $50, so that's kind of cool how it's like at home, no, I, well I guess that's not at home, but like, or it could be at home, but we have like the Netflix, and then the 50 is like the movie night, which again is perfect for me, because I'm definitely a movie night person. I also love this, in the different bright colors, so that I can coordinate for different spreads. And then I picked up four kits, um, because again, I have no chill. Uh, I'm excited to coordinate with them. Like, I think I went for this kit, but then got distracted, essentially. So I, like, Apple Blossom Prints is, like, very, very fast at putting up new kits. Um, so if you want something fast, like, I suggest checking out there, because you'll find the kits you want probably early, like, seasonal-wise. And so they saw, I saw they had this Easter kit and normally I don't, I don't want to say normally because I'm pretty sure I have 
used Easter kits every year but like I'm not very like we don't really celebrate it that much um so it doesn't really make a difference but usually I love how the artwork turns out and this one was no exception I think the artwork is gorgeous um like look at that little chick egg and that little bunny butt pancakes like it's so adorable and like the mini egg cake like I don't know it's just so good and so her kits also come with like a lot of extra full boxes so I figured that I'm like if I find an Easter kit I like more I did find one but I'm gonna use it for two because we have like my week starts on a Monday so I still have the following Easter Monday but there's actually like enough full boxes between this to do like an Easter spread and like a regular kind of spread and so that's kind of cool so I was like oh it, and like there's some extra here even so really between it like you can use it for like an anytime spring kit too and so you have glitter headers and extra full boxes your deco and then we have all these boxes here followed by the bottom washi the wa like bottom washi I'm in love with these patterns like I think I think they're just adorable and go well together. I also picked up the label sampler because I like to coordinate between two planners and I felt like this wouldn't be enough for a week between two planners. So I picked up that. Next up, I picked up this and I think this is why I was going for the shop originally. Um, so this is Starcross Lovers. And so it's like the Romeo and Juliet kit. Normally, like, I'm not getting it for that, but it's actually because my partner proposed to me last Easter, and so I just thought it would be really cute to mark it, because I did not mark it last year, because I didn't really know, like, I had an idea, like, it was probably coming, but, like, I had no idea exactly when, um, that I could get a kit. I don't even think I was using kits, honestly. I think I was planning in a happy planner for that, so... I decided to pick it up because also this full box I think is perfect for it. Um, honestly, the ring kind of looks like my ring too. And so I thought I could use that to kind of mark our one year like proposal date. And luckily because like Easter changes every year, it actually falls the week after. So I can still use my two Easter kits plus this kit as well. And so we have the full boxes here plus the extra full boxes, your glitter headers. So I think this is either a newer kit format or an older kit format. I don't really know how it works because I think it's different like it comes with extra boxes and so I didn't think I needed to pull in like or order more label samplers because I think I'll have enough boxes I probably will not have a full bo <laughs> enough boxes but I at least I will be less stressed about finding more boxes I'll only have to pull in a few rather than a lot and these were just total I don't want to say impulse buy because like that's not the right word but it kind of is not that like so like there's kits that I will add to my like wish list and save so they were wanting to buy but like they weren't necessarily needed like I try to buy kits that I know exactly when I'm gonna use them and what for because then I don't buy too many kits which I have done in the past and I'm starting to I need to like go through my stash again and like figure things out so that doesn't happen but I decided to pick up these two kits because, like, I feel like, so with spring, I like the artwork often, but it's often, like, the colors, like, are pastel -y, and I'm not a big pastel person. And so I thought, like, these two kits were interesting and in that they were, like, kind of these, like, deeper and brighter tones. And so I thought they would be really interesting for spring, although I don't think I have room for spring. Either way, I'm going to figure stuff out. I think these would still be good for, like, early fall. Like, a nice, like, September kit, like, before we actually get into fall. And so I ordered this kit here called Flora. Um, and so we get the full boxes with some glitter headers. We get some deco. Oh, and then we get extra full boxes, extra stables. Uh, so I think this came with the kit, and then this I ordered on, label sampler. And then the label sampler. And then we have the bottom wash tree, again, gorgeous pattern. And so even if I can't fit this in in the springtime, I think it'll, like, I think it'll still even be good in, like, May or June. But if not, I think it'll definitely fit in for September. 
And then next up we have this kit called Pixie. I'm like not usually like a very like whimsical person, I guess, in terms of like artwork, but I don't know. I just think the artwork's so cute. Um, and I love the colors and patterns, and I think that's also what's kind of drawing me to it. Um, I'm also like heavily influenced by what's popular and like these types of like whimsical kits are really popular right now, like artwork wise. So I don't, I'm just following the mass, the masses and what they want. So, uh, first off we have these eight full boxes here. Like I love like, just like, like here, like the, the bullet journals, the little flowers, the ribbon, the mushrooms, the books. Like, I don't know. I just think the like details are so cute. And then we have the, uh, glitter headers here. And I think actually these colors will go well with like whatever the freebie colors were. Okay. Maybe not that well, but like not bad. Like I can still pull it in. Um, and then we have the, uh, extra boxes. I love the sweater. This is so cute. And then we have some deco and lots of boxes to plan as well as the bottom washi. I love the scene as a washi pattern. I think that's so adorable. And then we have these extra full boxes, which is really cool. So that I think maybe that's why I was convinced on this is because there are so many boxes that like I could kind of like if I'm not feeling like the fairy stuff, I could kind of pull it out and just do it as like a wooden cutesy kit. Um, I think the cat's on the mushroom tree is so adorable. And so, yeah, like there's quite a lot that I could do with this kit. And so this is my orders that I recently have for March. Um, if you like this video, you can like it. You can also subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.